screen? Yes, we can see your slides. Okay, thank you. So welcome to the uh, closing ceremony. It's been a uh, very interesting week. And I thank everyone for attending our first uh, online symposium. This was the 12th annual meeting of the International Society of Porous Media. And before I officially close the conference, I just want to give a, a few remarks about opportunity for involvement in Interpor. But before I do that, I think it's very important to thank everyone who participated in helping us to bring this online conference to you. Adi and Layla put significant time and effort into organizing the conference program, which went from a multi-day session in person to something that had to be handled online and covered multiple time zones. And so they did a significant amount of work and we give them our help, heartfelt thanks. We also thank the organizers and co-organizers of the mini symposia, the session moderators, for putting in the time and effort to help the sessions run smoothly. We thank the organizing committee, Oleg and Lay, for all their work uh, and, and also in the technical aspects of getting the IT to work. And all of this could not happen with our dedicated Interport team, Carolyn, Christy, Amy, Megan, and Sebastian. We also give our thanks to the conference participants to attending this virtual online meeting. And we thank our sponsors for their support. Now, how can you get involved in Interpor? Well, the first thing is that the elections are coming in November 2020. So keep an eye on your email as to when the voting opens. There are going to be elections for four council seats, the president-elect who will start in 2023, and three positions on the Student Affairs Committee. There was a nomination committee that took suggested candidates, and the candidates were pre-selected to represent the diversity of Interpor. The elections will be overseen by a committee chaired by Professor Gabriel Whit Whitham. All Interpor members are eligible to vote. And for all the people who are new to Interpor and who attended the conference, you are now Interpor members and are free to vote in the election. Activities. And so Interpor is launching a new initiative, which is called the Interpor School of Porous Media and consists of several components. The main goal is to establish an online school of porous media that would include short courses, webinars, YouTube educational videos, videos of your experimental or simulation work, with the idea that this would be available to researchers and educators around the globe or anyone interested in learning about porous media. This also is going to include a wiki project so we can develop an online encyclopedia of porous media knowledge. So if people have questions or need a definition, there's somewhere they can go. And so we encourage contributions to the Interpor School of Porous Media. And please contact Interpor if you have something you want to submit or suggestions for topics that should be covered. In addition, we have as part of this school, the album of porous media structure and dynamics. The editors are Ezequiel Medici and Alejandro Otero. They are working uh, together to produce a collection of state-of-the-art experimental and computational visualization of the structure of porous media and the physical processes that go on in porous media. They're looking for high resolution images, visualization, anything that helps with understanding of how different porous media behave or how, what's similar among them. And so they're soliciting contributions. There'll be no publication fees and it'll be published in Springer in 2022. There will be a peer review process for selecting the images. If you want information about contributions, please see the URL at the bottom of the slide or directly reach out to the editors to ask them questions and if your contribution would be appropriate. Other ways you can become involved in Interpor is to join a committee. It's always important for committees to have new members. It's how you keep the society re relevant and forward moving. And we have several openings on the communication committee, the industry newsletter team, membership and publication committees. We also encourage you to nominate your colleagues for awards and also to get involved in your national chapter. 
If you don't know who to contact for your national chapter, please contact Interpor. And we would also be happy to assist you if you're interested in setting up a national chapter in your country or region. We're pleased to announce the chapters that won the National Chapter Award this year. The first is the Chinese chapter, which has organized uh, conferences with large number of participants. They've established efficient communication platforms for conferences. Now that we're in this more online virtual world, they were going to hold the in-person Interpore 2020 in Qingdao, but because of the pandemic, they made tremendous efforts to renegotiate and to hold the conference in 2022. We recognize the Brazilian chapter, which has made very significant increases in its membership over the past year. They've organized conferences with strong international participation, had special sessions at the Brazilian Colloquium of Mathematics, and make a special effort to connect colleagues internal to Brazil and international. So congratulations to the Chinese and Brazilian chapters. We want to take this opportunity to thank all the people who donated to the Interpor Foundation. Your donations are helping to support young uh, students and up and coming researchers through the funding of targeted awards, grants for participation and travel, as well as career, career development opportunities. And so we thank you once again. Now, Interpore 2020-2021. We are hoping to hold the meeting in 2021 in Edinburgh in the UK. It will be the 13th annual meeting. And mark on your calendars, it's scheduled for May 30th through June 4th, 2021. And now we have a short video here from the Edinburgh Organizing Committee. <laughs> to the Edinburgh Organizing Committee for this video. And uh, members, please look in your newsletters for announcements related to the Edinburgh Conference and deadlines for abstract submissions. So in 2021, we'll be in Edinburgh. And then in 2022, we'll go around the globe to Qingdao, China. Mark your calendars now for the 14th annual meeting. It'll be May 30th through June 3rd in 2022 and we look forward to seeing you there. 
I now declare the conference officially closed. I thank you for your attendance. Stay safe, stay healthy, and let's look forward to hopefully meeting in Edinburgh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, thank, I thank all of you. You've been very, yeah. very